you want Uno to be the one to go in front. Right. Because it, while Insidero has great buttons up close, like if that character was any faster, it'd be a top tier. Yeah. But the fact that he has to play the range of, uh, uh, like play the range game against Lucina, you really want Uno to set up those kills for you. But right. it doesn't seem like six carries. He's just going in. Same thing as Gaucos. Yeah, he just wants to get it, go in and pick up the hurt. Starts charging up the, you know, the, the revenge overall. It's, he's starting to get heated up. Yeah, big key factor here, and we're already seeing it coming in from Nairo. He's going to try and consistently keep the edge guards and the landing option from six. Very stressful. Uno has to pay attention to that and keep him as live as long as possible. Because you saw right there, he went hunting for him, but he recovered high. Yeah. They're going to be looking for it. Oh, there's a big pickup. 6WX already making his presence known. It says Red Team, you're going to feel the pain. And Incinera does so well in doubles because of the fact that people will shield a lot more. Right. You get in scared because there's more bodies flying at you. Having that strong command grab, especially after revenge, that's going to be some early stops. Yeah, it's definitely a recipe for disaster. Holding shield versus the grappling character. You want to be out in front, walling them out, putting in, the, you know, keeping them at bay. Not holding shield. Don't be scared. Just throw out the damage. Big pickup from Cosmos puts away that stock, uh, keeping Red Team into it. Let's see if Uno can. Make Cosmos, a play of its own, huh? Cosmos reversing a negative situation he had, too. Yeah. And he's actually going to get the neutral getup from Uno as well. Cosmos playing very, very well on his defense so far. And it looks like, oh, 60 this might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, good recovery, though. Maybe a little misplay on Nairo. We see, always see Nairo so dead nails off stage and getting those edge guards. Kind of surprised to see 6 wx get back. I agree 100%. The hard punish for the F-Smash there, not high enough to die, but he didn't use his jump yet. However, he throws out the up B hitbox to actually stuff out the jump before the up B came. That was galaxy extremely brain big brain from, from Cosmos. Uh, Cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went to a galaxy brain, maybe universe brain right there. <laughs> Multiverse brain overall. It's, it just, oh wow, just throwing out revenge on the, the Inkling Bomb. Yeah, trying that's to get a, heated up. That's going to be a huge, that, well actually, they're all at high percent right now. Any <laughs> straight hit, they're going to die. Right. Trying to get heated up. Eventually, you're going to see uh, 6 spawn fire, and oh my god, plays happening left and right. We were just talking about Cosmos using that LP hitbox. Nairo is actually digging so deep that he accidentally took a trade from the Inkling hitbox. So you can see Nairo pay a little bit more attention to that in the recovery. But um, Meanwhile, Cosmos just holding it on the stocks like it's no big deal. Just another day at the Pokemon Stadium. And he finally, drops it. <laughs> yeah, finally getting caught on an anti air there from 6WX. Again, this is very scary because of the kill potential from 6. Problem is, he can't remain grounded right now. Yeah, that's going to be the stop. Be Can he take out? It? No. If he was able to take down Cosmos while he went to, could have potentially set up maybe a safer 2v1 for uh, Uno. But Uno just going to give up the game. Yeah. <laughs> now, he actually jumped going after um, Nairo there. I think he forgot that he used his jump and didn't end up being early enough. Yeah. Nah, just, uh, you know, unfortunate 6WX and Uno were coming out swinging at the early parts. But again, the the will of being exerted by Team Cosmos, Team Nairo, so difficult to overcome. They're taking everybody's best hits. Everybody wants to come out and beat the champ. But it's not as easy as it looks. You have a plan, but you get hit in the face by them, and it's, it's and always trouble. We've already seen today the moment where Nairo's and, uh, not Nairo's, <laughs> Nairo and Cosmos uh, had to turn it up. They went down that game against Jen and Max, and since it seems like their team synergy is really kicking in all gears. So I'm like, all right, let's make sure we just keep it simple. Uh, Cosmos consistently playing the strong edge guard game that he has been is going to be on Six and Uno to adjust to that because the moment that Six kept getting put off stage, Uno wasn't there enough to save him. Right. They got to stick together, uh, hold strong together as a team, or else they're going to let Nairo and Cosmos run wild. Edge guard's looking clean, so. That is the last thing you want to happen. The moment, again, we oh, talked about the Toasty's, um, uh, you know, material. Yeah. This is where a majority of these type of things come from. You cannot let them get going. We got to switch to Wolf. Uh, 6 wx looks like went from Incineroar to Wolf, making a little bit of changes. And opt them to go to Town of City as well. Uh, you know, I, very, still very similar in the aspect that, okay, the, the edge guards were really strong. Uno has to keep them safe. But better buttons in center stage. He's yeah. not going to have to deal with nearly as many bad trades because Wolf has the ability to contest with both Lucina and Inkling. Yeah, it's going to maybe trading a little bit of uh, that range and the, that speed that you're talking about for some of that pop and kill power from center or Probably a good trade overall just because of so, how much uh, work was being put off stage and how much trouble he was in off stage the entire time. Uh, unfortunately, I got the force. That's very good play from Cosmos. Yeah. Used the shield from, it looks like, 6WX to make it so that he could get that clean forward smash overall. Yeah, and sometimes you get a little bit, uh, you get you sleep on it a little bit. Like, okay, there's a shield in my way, and it's going to save me, but that's going to save 6WX from that uh, a hit from Nairo, and that's going to be another stock going down. And 
blue team already starting to fall behind just a little bit. Nyra holding on to the stock, but offstage still has a jump, so should be making it back. Cosmo's right there to cover for him. Luno trying to find his way back down to the ground. Meanwhile, you know, he's trying to find an opening to keep Six safe while he was getting hit by Cosmos. Cosmos, uh, yet again, even though he went down a stock, he's still doing a good job of keeping his overall damage taken pretty low. And doing a good job trying to double up there on Cosmos. And Banaira's right back into the game, and 6WX just seems to be living off stage pretty much. <laughs> Hey, there's no, there hasn't really been a successful ledge trap option that Forward Smash not going to take it out yet, but the dash attack finally going to take care of Nairo Sutt. Yeah, blue team. Uh, I think we're still in, yeah, we're still in best of threes for winners finals in the pool. So they got to make a move now. They're already falling way behind. This is not the start that they wanted. Maybe it might not be the finish that they want. Let's see if they can rewrite that ending. Yeah, it's definitely not something where they want to get, again, they don't want that type of finish. They don't want to deal with the fact that they're this far behind, and now the six is at kill percent. It's going to allow the red team to play a little reckless. They have the stock up, and they're up a game. They can already do that, but it doesn't matter. He gets the anti-air, and now Uno forced off stage. Just That'll go digging it. deep for it. He had the stock. doesn't matter. Just take care of the business, and that's going to be a 2-0 victory. Yeah, very, very clean and convincing. Not a lot of back and forth overall, just the Nairo and Cosmo show mm -hmm. continues. Yeah. Again, like the moment that the fire starts going for them, it's really hard to get it to stop. Like yeah. you can try as hard as you can to get them from getting the solid team conversions they have, but really it hasn't been so much about the team combos. It's been these edge guards and ledge traps. You do not get to play much the moment you're at the uh, side of the stage against them. They have yeah. been refusing to let anybody get back for free. And you, 